Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I got a couple news stories about some cruise ports that have differencing of opinions on whether or not cruise ships be allowed. I want to talk about uh, a great thing that a gentleman did for me on this ship. I also want to talk about a big mix-up with Royal Caribbean. It seems really odd. <laughs> you wait till you hear this story. And then I want to talk to you about, guess what? Uh, Princess Cruise Line watched my video when I said, why, Princess, why? And uh, they wanted to talk. Okay, I'm going to start with a Princess Cruise Line story and then I'm going to go to a, an end with the Princess Cruise Line story later with a bunch of stuff in the middle. So the first story I want to say, you might remember when I got back on the Majestic Princess and uh, a gentleman had sent a letter to one of the staff in the dining room, the restaurant, and she tracked me down on the ship and gave me this letter. And it was a very emotional, very heartfelt letter, and it hit me to the core. If you look when I'm back home, in the background, on when I'm doing a video from my office, you will see that letter framed behind me. Um, that's how much it meant to me as well. Well, the good news is, he was supposed to start work on the Enchanted Princess, and it looks like he has. Uh, I've sent a few people who were going on there to say hi to me for to him for me and I hope he's doing well. I just can't get on the Enchanted Princess right now. It's just not lining up. But what I can do is I got on the Sky Princess and he sent me a ball of wine last night hoping that I enjoy my cruise. And again, I don't want to mention names. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Um, I, I, I just wanted to thank you right here on the video. I'm so glad you're back on the ship, and I'm so glad you're doing well, and I'm really happy that all the workers are able to get back to work out at sea. And uh, I'm meeting workers on the ship every day who come up to say hi, and it's a great feeling to know that I had some little part in helping them through the pandemic, and it means the world to me. And again, thank you so much. Again, I can't say names, but you know who you are. And a lot of these people now know who you are as well. And again, thank you so much. It really means a lot. Okay, we have two cruise ports that have been fighting the cruise ships. They wanted to limit them. They tried to bring in laws, their council meetings. One is Bar Harbor in Maine. One is Key West, Florida. Well, in Key West, Florida, it looks like they might have come to a compromise where they will stop cruise ships from coming into the city-owned pier, but Pier B will allow to be brought in cruise ships. So that will cut the capacity in Key West, but still keep a pier open. That's what some people are floating right now in Key West. As far as Bar Harbor is concerned, every time they've tried to limit the cruise ships and come to a vote in city council, it has failed. It has lost every single time. In fact, the last vote was to reduce capacity in 2022 by 30% and only one city member voted for it. The rest all voted down, even though they all want to limit the cruise ships, but they are very aware that they could be sued by the cruise industry. And because this is just a, a local city uh, in a very uh, business friendly state, they know that it could become a very expensive lawsuit for them in the future. And so they're postponing their decisions and creating a new way of discussing this with the cruise lines until 2023. So not getting rid of it, but nothing's gonna happen apparently for this year in 2022. Okay, I have two more news stories. One is really confusing from Royal Caribbean and a great one here from Princess because they, they reached out to me after my video. So wait for that one. But before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It really does help the channel out. You can keep up to date with all things cruising from the new measures, the measures that are being ended, the CDC's restrictions, insurance, what ports are open, what countries are open, what ships are starting, and all the regulations. It doesn't cost a thing. Really, really helps the channel out. I'd so much appreciate it. 
because it just tells YouTube, hey, people are interested in cruising. Let's share it to more people and see if they're interested as well. Let's grow the community of cruisers who just love to get out to sea. Well, here's another weird story uh, for 2023. The Mariner of the Seas have canceled some of her early sailings from February into May. And it is because they're saying they need more time in dry dock. So they're, they're planning on doing some big changes, I guess, to the Mariner of the Seas. What's funny about this is they have the offer. You can get a refund. You can move your money over to, you, to another cruise if you want with no change fees uh, implemented, or they will rebook you on the, the much smaller Jewel of the Seas. And you will get some onboard credits as bonus and they will price protect your, your cabin. And if your cabin is less than what it would have been, you would be refunded the money difference. That sounds okay. Well, there's pretty, pretty interesting offer. No one weird about that, but what is weird is that there was another cruise ship out there that was just put out saying that they also need some extra time in dry dock during this same period, but they can move you to another booking. Guess what? On the Mariner of the Seas, which they just said will now be removed to the Jewel of the Seas. How can they, re how can you move to two different, so there's lots of confusion going on out there right now with those two sailings. And it just said, same reason, same different ships going to the ship that they're just doing that again to. It's, uh, it's really, really strange, but I'm sure they'll figure it all out and get people booked. But it's again, disappointing news for anybody, especially if you book one, it's like book, I want to go on an Oasis class ship and uh, now you're on the Jewel of the Sea. It, you know, it's completely different ship completely different feel much smaller etc so I, i'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are very disappointed okay i was mentioning the other day that i was a little confused about the entertainment on board why there was only one show at night uh, at one time why it was not lining up properly when you want to do one of the game shows on princess cruise it would end right when the other one would start so you couldn't do both unless you left early and that exactly thing happened I was in the yes no game show I get up I did my thing I lost again thanks Andy the cruise director <laughs> and I was knocked out and uh, we had to basically leave to get half decent seats for the magic show so uh, yeah yeah I was confused well Andy, the cruise director, and Natty, the entertainment director on board, reached out and said, hey, we heard your video, we, are, we heard your concerns, so let, let's talk about it, we can explain what we're, and you can tell us, as a passenger, what, what our decisions have caused. They want to know so they can improve themselves in the future and possibly make changes, which is great. Like, I, this is one of the reasons I absolutely love Princess Cruise Lines is because of the people out there. I mean, I still got my bottle of wine here from a crew member on board a Princess cruise ship who went into great, great lengths to send me a message. And all the staff on board have been just wonderful. The entertainment is always top notch. The food I find is still some of the best food at sea. And the people who run the cruise ships care about what you think. So we had our meeting. And they did express, they said, you know what, Dom, we, we understand some of this for sure, because the Sky Princess is still only wanting, running one Broadway show right now, Rock Opera. And that's because their dance team and their staff could not get into training at Los Angeles before they were brought on board by the, by the startup to learn another uh, dance routine. Because most cruise lines bring people to a shore facility and they train everybody in the dance routine and everything and then they bring them to the ships. Princess is no different and they just didn't get a chance to but they are now starting to bring this is one of the first times they've had a full dance troupe on board. Normally it's been less dancers on board as well. So they're finally bringing them on board and they hope to get ready to start that second show 
very, very shortly, which is good news. That's that's great news. In fact, they told me that they think the Sky Princess is the only Princess cruise ship that is not up to two shows or more right now. And that's true because I was on the Majestic, the Emerald, the Regal, and they all had at least two shows on board. So that's good news. But then I did discuss with them the, you know, the Yes No Game show, for, for instance, and and having to leave early, and they completely saw that, and they said, yeah, and they said, but now we, we but we have to try and time the events with people's dinners, because there's two seatings for dinners, et cetera, and I said, yeah, but had you been able to just move it 15 minutes in one direction or the other? And I said, in fact, that night was the only night on this cruise that the Magic Act wasn't at 9.15, it was at uh, 8.45, so it was even earlier. Had it stayed at 9.15, everything would have been fine. He could have done both shows. And they said, yeah, but we had that party that was supposed to be a top deck party that started at 10 o'clock. We wanted to have people be able to get there in time. I said, yeah, well, maybe that could have started at 10.15. And then you could have done all of these events back to back to back and participated in everything as opposed to us choosing which one we want to do. And they took that feedback really well. And they said, yeah, well, and I, I completely understand. I'm looking at this as a passenger. I'm looking at it as I'm on vacation. I'm disappointed that I can't do this and this. So why are you doing that? They're looking at it from logistics where they have to move parts around and he has to get from one place to the other to do the announcements to do the shows to do all that he and the, you know the entertainment director has to schedule the staff to come on board for the one night show and they get off the next place and then bring another person on board they have a lot of working parts to deal with and they're trying to make it fair for everybody to get to do everything and they they appreciate it the point of view of a passenger doing their frustration and I'm not the only one who felt that way because many people have come on board and talked to me that I've run into and said I saw your video I totally agree what's going why can't we do this why is it so tight and so I think they're going to take that into consideration now <laughs> here's the funny thing rock opera last night the show did two shows last night and people are going, Don, they watched your video, so now they're doing two shows instead of just one. No, no. Uh, the rock opera production show, they were doing two even last week. So it's not because they watched my video. I didn't have any impact whatsoever on that. Um, but but the other shows are only one show a night. And so they, you know, it just so happened, my favorite game show, the Yes No game show, happened to be on a night where they moved the production show earlier the magic show went up 45 minutes earlier than normal. Uh, sorry, half hour earlier than normal, which meant I couldn't do both. And I actually had to leave my favorite game show. And they took that into consideration, which is, again, why I love Princess Cruise Lines. Besides everything on board, the staff listens and the staff has been wonderful. And I had really good news. Those of you on the Island Princess with me for the Panama Canal, Andy is going to be our cruise director. So I demand a rematch in the Yes No Game Show. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm a sucker for punishment. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.